Well, you're looking at the walls of St. Mary's Basilica in downtown Halifax. They're all gleaming white, but beneath layers of paint, something extraordinary is hiding. Brett Ruskin is at St. Mary's Forest this hour, and the church turns 200 years old next year. And as a way of marking the anniversary, the congregation has decided to restore some murals that were painted decades ago. Brett, walk us through the story. Well, yeah, John, those murals are just inside the church there, and they have been covered up by that thick white paint since the 1950s. But this year, they have been revealed along with the reason why they were originally covered. This is how Jennifer Fotheringham gets to work. Inside Halifax's St. Mary's Basilica, she's restoring white walls back into century-old art. We didn't know what we had underneath. Five panels were painted white in the 1950s. Why was a mystery, until they peeled back the paint. They were badly damaged, these paintings, after the Halifax explosion. In 1917, the blast in the harbour blew out every window in the city. Stained glass shattered and hit the murals. I, I didn't know right away that's what it was. I, I kept hitting the, hitting the glass because it was quite far in, well embedded. Then she found water damage. After the explosion, a snowstorm had hit the city. And the water dripped down the night of the Halifax explosion and froze on the surface. Instead of fixing the paintings, the church covered them up. Probably simpler, easier, just paint them white, make everything look bright and new. Getting all that paint off has taken months. Very carefully removing in little sections like an eggshell. Father John Williams says he can't wait to see the finished product. To uh, remind us of our past, as well as to celebrate our faith in the present and the team hopes to strike that balance between past and present. It won't look the way it did after the explosion, damaged, but it won't look the way it did before either. And so the restoration team is hoping to have this project complete by Christmas as a gift for this 200-year-old church. John. Thank you, Brett. Brett Ruskin in Halifax.